Hello, this is Juanita Garcia, and I'll be talking about um, higher education and enrollment process for students. Here's my paper. It's half page. There's nothing inside of it. It's kind of just like a bag of paper. Okay. Hello, this is Juanita Garcia, and I'll be speaking about the enrollment process of higher education. There are several students that fail due to lack of knowledge that the, the dropout rate has uh, increased over years due to students not knowing certain information. Um, students are unaware of resources or scholarships or grants and um, with them having the right information, they should be able to continue and complete education. Um, on the website, us.news.org they uh, had an article on there on how to avoid dropping out of college um, they mentioned that there was a steady rise in student debt with an average of 30,000 for a 2021 graduate um, knowing the right steps for a student to enroll in college can help with providing the right information um, they need to know the right information for the application process, financial process, and the resources provided from the schools so they'll be able to succeed in college. Um, there's the application process that's really the most difficult part because a student that's first starting out doesn't know where to begin. Most students have to go to the campus of a school or some people can en enroll and register online. If you do go to go to campus, you can go to the Oklahoma, um, not the Oklahoma, but you can go to the office administration office, administ admissions office. Um, that's where I went to. They advised me to go to the advisors so they can help me pick, figure out a study plan. Um, whenever you enroll, you do have to figure out a high school you want to go to, I mean, a college you want to go to, um, or a facility you want to attend. Um, you have to ha find a degree that you want to take, or you have to decide to take your basics. Um, you have to connect with an advisor to figure out a graduation plan, speaking with an advisor, he can help you in addressing you with certain classes that he believes that you'll be able to take, and he knows that they'll be suitable for you and with the career that you're trying to obtain. Um, there is um, there is some um, some students that don't know um, that classes can be taken online or in person and that prevents a student from finishing. Um, so online classes have helped me. They helped me be able to do the courses when I had the time to do it instead of going in a certain time. The financial help, um, that is the second thing that a person has to know. Once the classes are selected, one should go over the syllabus so they can figure out a scheduling plan so that they know what to complete and how many years and things like that. Um, some students don't know that the FAFSA program only covers a certain amount of classes and courses or they only cover a certain amount of years. Um, there's also um, students can get approved for work study or get loans if they can't get qualified for financial help. Students can minimize their cost by reducing classes. If they don't take as much classes, the tuition won't be as high. It'll just take them longer to be able to complete the degree. Um, there's an article on www.uopeople.com, that is the university of people.com. It says that students can avoid dropping out by applying for student loans, um, which that is true, but people don't, really, that, that's like really the last resort that a person has to do to be able to complete their degree. Students have to realize that completing a degree can be able to provide financial um, funds so that you'll be able to pay that back. Um, and other than that, the resources that a school provides, they provide a library that provides books and also 
uh, a quiet environment so that a student can study. They have computer accesses. Um, students can use the computer labs to complete their assignments and work and materials. They also have English labs and math labs. They can help with tutoring you. They can help with your homework and your essays. Um, they also have dorms. They have cafes. If you're um, living on a campus, they help you by providing food on campus so you don't have to leave. Um, even if you don't live on campus, you can also use their cafe. Um, one thing that people, most students don't know that they have is that they have um, counseling and counseling can help a student mentally, um, especially because some things are too much for a student and they um, don't know how to deal being overwhelmed. So that's a pro that they do have is uh, counseling for a student. Um, but those are all the really things that I think that a student should know so they'll be able to be successful in kids. Not being aware uh, decreases the success for the student. Um, when they know of the resources, they can take the help and accept the help. And um, knowing the resources benefits the students and they are also able to um, uh, complete their degree and the rates for dropouts will go up. And um, I think that that will help a student be successful in school. And thank you for letting me present my speech and you have a good day.